Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Against? Carried. And uh, now comes to a fun part of the evening. Special presentation to Mr. Alfred Anderson, uh, the founder of the Tour de White Rock. So we do have a bit of a slideshow. And there's Mr. Anderson himself. And I, I get to narrate it. So, <laughs> so we do have a very special guest in attendance tonight, Mr. Alfred Anderson, uh, who was a pioneer behind uh, White Rock's most successful long-term event, uh, the Tour de White Rock. And uh, this year marks the 38th annual Tour de White Rock. About 38 years ago, which is a picture of, it looked a wee bit different. And on the screen you can see some very styles, different styles of apparel from what we have now. I think guys have got rugby helmets on and maybe a hockey helmet or two um, and probably a variety of shorts and whatnot. So things uh, definitely have changed. The bikes certainly have moved along and even the scenery in the background has been modified somewhat. So this year... Uh, marks, uh, as I said, marks the 38th annual Tour de White Rock. But the road to the Tour de White Rock, as we know it, was not the smoothest for Mr. Anderson. And for years he had to approach city council and pitch the crazy idea of holding a cycling race through the hilly topography of White Rock. And once the city was on board, though, he got to work organizing and promoting the event, including hand-delivering the posters you see on this slide. And I want you to pay some attention to the prizes. $60 for first place, $35 for second, $25 for third. That's a long way to cycle for 60 bucks. Now, while it took a while to convince everybody and get the groundwork done, once the first race was underway and once the community came out to watch and cheer on the cyclists, uh, there was a demand for it, and it, people couldn't wait for it to occur again the next year. So it's been a constant occurrence since then, and we continue to build on this momentum. In fact, we've even passed that on, and I'll come back to that in a second. So from these humble beginnings and through your, Mr. Alfred Anderson's hard, hard work, the Tour de White Rock is now one of the longest withstanding races in North America. It attracts international athletes and one of the most challenging road races in the Pacific Northwest. And this year will be held on July 15th, 16th, of, uh, coming up very shortly. Now, the Tour de White Rock has contributed to building our community spirit and helped us showcase our city in its grandest form. And in fact, it now has morphed into Cycling Super Week. So there are races in Gastown, Delta, New Westminster, Burnaby, and Port Coquitlam, as well as a grand finale in White Rock. And the total prizes, if you remember the prizes that were shown on the original poster, then now the total prizes for the week are $120,000. <laughs> it might. Uh, so, on behalf of uh, City Council and the City of White Rock, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Anderson, for your dedication for uh, creating this event and helping it flourish throughout the past 38 years. So, if you could come up, we do have a presentation for you. And I think we're going to do some grip and grins here. Are we? Okay.
BC Super League, he was brought to the International Youth Soccer Cycling Race through the Water Rock for our community for the past 38 years. On behalf of the city, we recognize your tremendous contributions to the Tour de Water Rock, that supports and inspires professional and amateur cyclists worldwide and promotes tourism in our community. I think Alfred was absolutely right on when he said about the volunteers. Obviously, one man can't run around and do all that. And uh, it wouldn't happen without them. But on the other hand, they had to have the inspiration to start it. And uh, that's what he provided. So thank you again, Alfred. Thank you so much.